All your businesses have a problem. Don't worry, I'm Henry from Streamer, and I'm here to fix that. But your problem is that you're not reacting to newest data immediately, thus losing opportunities. I used to be an algorithmic stock trader. To survive, I had to monitor millions of tiny market events and react automatically. For you, it could be sensor data, social media data, or even the weather. But don't you wish you had thousands of little smart agents out there monitoring relevant data streams and taking action to capture value before it's too late. Ah, that sounds painful, you tell me. Surely I need infrastructure, engineers, data scientists, time and money, and where do I even start? Well, if you're a smart developer, you start with Streamer. We're disrupting real-time analytics by getting you up and running in minutes instead of months. Using our drag-and-drop interface, you can define your little agents uh, to power your real-time applications. Typical use cases are anomaly detection, alerts, situation rooms, and consumption-based pricing. On the streamer marketplace, you'll find data and algorithms relevant to your business, kind of like the App Store for real-time data. So, where are we as a business? The platform is up and running and launching now. It's generating 250k revenue from pilot customers this year. Next on our roadmap is growth and the marketplace. For this, we are raising 1.5 million in funding. We believe the platform plus the marketplace is a killer combo. We'll build the marketplace step by step, penetrating one business vertical at a time. Streamer creates three revenue streams, pay-by-use platform fees, reselling commercial data feeds, and commissions from third-party data and algorithms. We make your streams come true. Thank you. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, have you thought about an acting career? <laughs> um, anyway, um, there are a lot of companies going after real-time analytics, and, and the applications you gave us were like the situation rooms. I mean, that's a pretty small market. How are you going to build this to get it to be something really big? Well, uh, that's kind of a multifaceted question, of course. But first off, we're uh, trying to offer an end-to-end -end solution with both easy access to the public data you need plus the tool. Second, we're trying to find a sweet spot between the kind of more traditional first-generation analytics frameworks, such as what you have at open source, like Spark and Storm, and then again, IoT platforms, and then again, like publish, subscribe uh, messaging services. So, yeah, there's a lot of going on in that space, but it is a pretty large space because it kind of uh, crosses both like application enablement platform market, the IoT market, and the more traditional analytics market. So, yeah, we're kind of making a solution for a very specific shape of a problem, and we're trying to do that the best in the world. Uh, what kind of clients do you have? You have some form of revenue. Do you have some big name clients? Yeah, we have a kind of handful of clients. They include uh, listed companies, enterprises, and also smaller companies like startups. Uh, could you phone the people who are unsure of what your business idea is about, give kind of three good user cases? Hmm. Who would the clients be? Yeah, um, our clients are probably as developers. We make solutions for those who make solutions, right? So it's a platform business. But okay, uh, who are the end customers? Well, 
For example, we've seen quite a lot of traction from the media interest industry because they're under a lot of pressure to reinvent themselves, find new business models, find new services, uh, be on top of uh, things. And then again, there are, for example, new areas such as cryptocurrencies and the blockchain space. So uh, each of these markets have a lot of applications for tools like ours. And one of these is the one that we're going to pick first and then try to penetrate that. And just a quick comment, I agree with Tim. Pitch you can do. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for a good presentation. Thank you. Um, I'm thinking more of how are how, what is your biggest uh, challenge that you have right now? Probably the quite large focus that we've had so far. Because we've built the technology to be very generic. It can be applied to all uh, business fields. But you can't sell something that anything can come in, then you can build models that can, can do anything, and then anything can come out. That's just not sellable. But that is the technical side of it. But of course, uh, the challenge is to find the focuses in marketing, the kind of spearheads that will allow us to conquer certain business verticals. And that's the process we are uh, starting to do now. What, what would you actually redo? Sorry? What would you, what would you redo? Yeah, we would choose a business vertical, find out which data they need and use that to leverage our entry to that field. So we can offer a very tempting package all in one. The data they need plus the tool they need in one. And they can get, start using it by pressing a button. Any more? Um, <clears throat> yeah, what, what makes you so excited about this? <laughs> well. I've been thinking about these kind of problems uh, for a long time. I have a history as a trader, uh, as I said, and that's a field uh, that has been in this kind of algorithmic economy and real-time automation for a long time, since the 80s. And that's a space that's quite full of tools already, quite full of data providers. We want to do that to other fields, for example, IoT is a large space with the tools and the data sources and that kind of stuff only forming. And there's no market for the data produced by I IoT. So we want to be that. Great. I have to admit, I still don't quite understand. You were talking about platform and marketplace. Yeah, and when they go together... Uh, could you boom. tell one, uh, like, uh, who would use the platform and who would use the marketplace? Mm. You have their data, and then you have the algorithms mm. of any kind. Do you have any example, like yeah, in real life sure. or, <laughs> yeah. or invented? A I can describe, for example, the simplest case I know that is making money out there. It's kind of like the Hello World application for our platform. Uh, we have this customer, they made this kind of um, real-time voting application for live TV. So let's say there's a football match, a football match airing on TV, and there's a vote uh, who's the best player, for example. So all they needed to do was make the front end, the voting application, the client, and all, uh, all of the back end, all of the processing of the individual votes and communicating the results and the state of the voting and so on came through Streamer. So basically, the platform was just counting votes. And how did we do this? Well. We had a two-hour workshop with the client to kind of teach them how to use our platform. And during that workshop, we built their back end, which was amazing. It was a very good fit for our platform and simple to do. But, but still, they were amazed. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 100 Thank applause. You. Good pitch.